Do y'all remember Justice League Unlimited or Justice League the Animated Series, for example, where this being, this android known as Amazo, can look at you and take your power permanently, seemingly without limit, to the point where he just became stronger and all our favorite characters became golden and said there's nothing left on Earth for him no more and he left to absorb more power and knowledge? What if I told you there was a character like that in Marvel, a character that made Rogue's absorption ability look pitiful in comparison, a being that was trying to be the new, the one above all? Well, let's talk about this cosmic broken S-type being like Protege. Oh boy. Marvel has a lot of different alternate universes or universes that we don't really get to visit that much. And one of the universes, this organization known as the Universal Church of Truth, had went from planet to planet conquering different worlds over the many centuries in order to find their God. The Church of Truth was so focused on that type of stuff, they would destroy those that didn't believe in it or those that refused. Then they said, forget this, they're going to create their own God of their own. And thus the protege was born. And man, he was crazy. I mean, he was made from a lot of BS, basically. Selective breeding, genetic manipulation, various chemical drugs, scientists and arcane magics. Some call it abstract. Some call it an omnipotent being. They simply describe his power as a person or boy that possessed the ability to instantly acquire any natural power or ability upon observing it in use. And once acquired, it is his permanently. For example, he can learn skills. He can learn how to fire a weapon upon watching somebody else do so. He can learn a thermal beam just from watching you or super strength. So it's really no point to explain the different type of abilities or skills he has in this video. I'm just going to list them and show them all in this video because he has every power you can think of. He's abstract. God-like, cosmic, abstract type being. One guy has a theory on how he's able to tap into their power just by looking at them. One theory suggests that a lot of these beings in the Marvel Universe's power are interdimensional in nature and he's simply tapping into the source of where these characters are getting their powers from. So what he's saying is that all the characters that we know and love secretly have power sources that they don't know about, which is the reason why they have powers in the first place. And the reason why Protégé is able to copy it is because he's simply tapping into where they're getting their power from, apparently. But this is just a theory on how his powers works and even they said some stuff debunked their own theory about how he's able to tap into other characters' power sources because there are some stuff that's just not power. Some stuff is just hard work and dedication, but he still can use it. But they simply say they don't understand his abilities fully, but they just say he might be the most powerful person ever born. Now, before I really get into the Beyonder stuff, I just want to make something clear that in this video, I'm going to say this universe is version of Beyonder again, but there are some that theorize that all the Beyonders in the multiverse are the same guy because he's a higher dimensional being that can make different versions of himself similar to eternity in them. Like how there's an infinite multiverse in Marvel, right? And eternity and cosmic beings in general can make avatars of themselves to fit, or one can say manifestations to fit in other universes separately. But in all actuality, there's only true one conscious eternity. He just makes avatars of himself so the mortal eye can see and fit in the small realm of the human world and stuff. This same idea could technically be applied to Beyonder because he's a cosmic being as well, but they did do some retconning. So it, it's up for interpretation. What do you guys think? But just to keep it safe for this video, I'm just going to say this universe's version of Beyonder, even though it's a possibility, all the different universes of Beyonder could be him just exploring the multiverse and stuff. And you know how Beyonder gets curious and all that crazy stuff. But yeah, retcons, Marvel, who knows what they doing with him now? You know what I mean? Just wanted to throw that out there. Now let's talk about Protégé some more. One of his own main limitations is that if somebody has the ability to use their power, use an unseen thought. He can't mimic an unseen thought, apparently. Well, in this particular occasion, not in his current state, anyway. At certain points in Protégé's career, there was some beings, like Omnipotent Level being the alternate version of Beyonder, for example, trapped Protégé in something to where he couldn't just mimic powers off of looking. There was this being even warned Beyonder that the kid's power is virtually limitless. The Beyonder said, nah, that kid doesn't know power. I am power or whatever. So there was limits. This is before Protégé like absorbed everybody's power, which I'm going to get to later on in this vid. This crystal-like thing he was in and he couldn't break out of, but he had to get help to break out on this particular occasion. It's one of those things to where you actually got to see him use his power and he can copy it. So if Beyonda does some power, but you can't see it, like an invisible power, then it would be kind of hard to replicate. But it shows that it actually made Beyonder sloppy and show his power to him. But yeah, mimicking beyond the power is not even out of the realm of imagination for a being like Protégé. Crazy, right? Well, just starting off everything with a bang when it comes to cosmic entities and Protégé, some of the mightiest beings in the multiverse literally stated, you know, like eternity itself, you know, the multiverse itself, the universe itself can actually talk and is alive, by the way, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> they talk about Protégé. They say he has the greatest power yet born to mortals or immortals. Usually beings this high up in the hierarchy don't interfere with the affairs of the universe. If stuff is in balance, then they will interfere if needed. 
when it comes to one of the many abilities that he obtains by looking at him he gets the ability of fire manipulation because he was able to manipulate this being's hellfire and use it for himself he was able to mimic light based attacks it's almost like he's doing like a shonen type of power progression thingy where he looks at new powers to get stronger and then add more powers on top of that power to get mightier it's one of them situations where he kind of gets excited when there's like a lot of different beings fighting at the same time within the area he is in he can just look at everybody in the area and learn their abilities all at once while they're in the middle of fighting not even bothering him one can imply that he can copy technological type stuff too he simply made her flight this it's so funny because even proto j gets excited because he simply says Yippee, there are so many different powers here for me to learn. Remember earlier when I talked about some don't rely on power, some is just skill. Yes, I will learn that as well. So they're trying to imply he can learn skills as well? That would remind me of some Space Jam stuff where the players in the basketball court got their skills stolen. <laughs> yeah, but basically all of this just for protege to observe and get that power for his own and increase his own power immediately each new power he gets builds upon himself the closer he gets to omnipotence i mean he literally copied the fire of mephisto's daughter's fire so let that sink in he got the ability to teleport folks away one of his many abilities he gets that's a very handy technique especially if you want to get places in the universe faster everything about him is a beast strength durability being blasted ain't gonna do nothing to such a being blasting him with psychokinetic stuff ain't gonna cut it sends this universe's version of mephisto away the banishment of one can say teleportation like early in the video i mentioned beyonder but protege does eventually get beyonder does display his power to him so he does be able to mimic it at this point he's actually getting too powerful copying beyonder is pretty much like close as you're gonna have to get to omnipotent different beyonders throughout the multiverse have a reputation of having the power to actually obliterate the past present and other multiverses all will be destroyed and due to retcons there was a beyonder that had there was basically a cosmic cube and you know cosmic cubes can do this to this many celestials but that's none of my business in this very same issue with protege it's literally stated he can create billions of various life forms with our thought he says he can manipulate and will manipulate a different universe or another universe these cosmic beings like the living tribunal don't even jump in unless something's getting imbalanced eternity even says the boy's conflict with the beyonder continues to escalate his conflict with the protege the child's assimilation of infinite omnipotence is fast approaching as you can see he's actually duplicating beyond his power with energy blasts no telling how crazy strong these energy blasts are he's so powerful beings are saying how would we hope to control him now notice how they use the term geometrically when it comes to how his power is increasing against the beyonder that means it's increasing times a factor of three so he's increasing as he's fighting the beyonder after seeing beyonder display his power he simply says at this point i could blink beings out of existence now this reality beyonder how do you get so powerful to where beyonder said man this dude getting kind of strong i gotta go even commented i scared the beyonder off here they said perhaps mephisto's daughter since we know he officially copied this universe's version of beyonder's ability it's officially safe to say whatever the beyonder can do protege can do and let's look at what this version of beyonder can do real quick the beyonder was maintaining his own dimension or reality to such a high degree that when he leaves the reality there's massive quakes tremors the world is going seismically insane everything it's just going all kinds of haywire and crazy. The Beyonder's simple absence is causing his reality to tear itself asunder, his home world. They talk about the Beyonder's omnipotent control of his universe is imploding. So he has his own universe and he's constantly maintaining it. If he's not present, the universe itself will just start getting ripped asunder. So he's like sustaining it all the time, like passively. So at this point in power, Protege has the power to create or one could say maintain an entire universe or one could say reality. And thanks to him having the power of this universe's version of Beyonder, or one could say Beyonder's avatar, one could argue, he straight up said he can reshape a universe to his will if he felt like it. They call it his sudden omnipotence, which is probably, at this point, a little of an exaggeration, considering Beyonder and Protégé working together can't even blast eternity away. <laughs> But believe it or not, this is not the limits of what he absorbs. So he wasn't quite eternity level in this particular occasion yet. <laughs> so think of him at this point as a being that can hold a universe or one could say a galaxy in the palm of his hand if he felt like it. What if I told you? So check this out. The awareness that he was lacking to even strike eternity before. You remember before how they tried to blast eternity together, but they couldn't because they could not still, they still wasn't on the level of them to comprehend them on a conceptual level. Well, tell me why Protege actually reached a higher level of 
perception or awareness to where he apparently left beyonder in the dust talking about i have achieved levels of infinite awareness that a puny god and like you could never conceive of i never heard nobody talk to a beyonder like this so there's implications that he actually surpassed this universe's version of beyonder protege achieves an even higher level of power calling himself the new one above all he even has similar heads to how the living tribunal has like three heads like the judge at this point, he should be technically past that universe version of eternity and other cosmic entities. That's freaking wild. In this occasion, it looks like he ragdolls eternity. You see in this scan, it looks like eternity gets hit. You're probably thinking, oh man, this dude is a living tribunal level being. Who gonna beat him? Considering that the living tribunal is at the top of the Marvel hierarchy, just below the one above all himself. If he mimicked the powers of living tribunal, how is even the living tribunal going to beat him? It's not until this celestial, for example, he encased protege in a bubble. Apparently protege couldn't bust out of it. He couldn't see nothing out of it either. So he can mimic no more abilities. This is rare when you hear the living tribunal talk about they need a certain artifact from somebody else that he can't already produce the power of are they implying a living tribunal needed aid can probably mess up a couple multiverses or a multiverse or two really hard to judge his limitations but he does have some limitations when it comes to cosmic being standards but it took all of these cosmic beings to really just kind of pull up on him like i'm really trying to wrap my hand around how the heck did they win <laughs> low-key even though it is implied that the living tribunal had outside help to amp him up it just doesn't seem like something like this or a random artifact will be powerful enough. Eternity's abilities, living tribunal's abilities, and all that stuff put together to deal with Protege. It seemed like that wouldn't be enough, but I guess it was. I, it's like Marvel backed themselves in a the corner. They realized they made a being too powerful, and they was like, oh crap, how are we going to write this guy out the story? How is he going to get defeated? We can't have him just wreaking havoc across the multiverse all the time. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, all of this could be just me, guys. How strong do you think Protege was? What do you think his limits was? Do you think he could actually mimic the powers of the one above all? How mighty was he? Do you think he could have manipulated or reshaped multiple universes at once? 15, 20, 30, hundreds, thousands, infinite? How many universes do you think he can manipulate? When he copied the power of eternity himself and the living tribunal. Your thoughts are more than welcome. I want to hear your thoughts below. But before I get going, respect protege. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys later.